Good day, everyone. Today in vegan news, Ben & Jerry's, a.k.a. the devil to those aspiring to be healthy vegans, has released its 17th vegan flavor. They have released Caramel Sutra Core. This kinky concoction contains a gooey caramel filled center. Think interracial sex with a caramel cream pie filling. <laughs> Never mind. What are your thoughts and are you trying or denying? Vegan ice cream company Brave Robot has released a line of non-dairy ice cream that claims to taste exactly like ice cream. They're using, and I quote, cow's DNA injected into yeast. But there's some controversy around this. Some say that it makes the product unethical and not vegan. Brave Robot uses Perfect Day's dairy identical but animal free whey protein. I know, confusing, right? Perfect Day states that their products are made by inserting a cow's DNA sequence as a blueprint into yeast-based microflora. The microflora then takes the place of the cow in creating a protein to make vegan versions of dairy-based foods such as milk, cheese, and ice cream. I don't know. Let me know what you think. I still have a lot of questions. So yeah, comment below. Let me know what you think about this. So Delicious launches a new line of vegan cheeses. The plant-based shreds come in cheddar, Mexican, and mozzarella. The slices are available in American and cheddar. The cream cheeses are scheduled to be released next month. You can find them at select grocery retailers, including Walmarts and Targets nationwide. Their ice cream is really good, so I imagine that the cheese will be as well. Now, let's get into some beef. There is now a vegan beef alternative to Wagyu, believe it or not. Now, if you're not familiar with Wagyu beef at all, it comes from a Japanese beef cattle breed and it can cost hundreds of dollars for 10 or 20 ounces. The Canadian-based company Top Tier Foods have produced the plant-based alternative known as Wagyu, which was said to taste so close to the real thing that it fooled Canadian Japanese master chef Hidekaizu Tojo. Top Tier stated that it's leaning on the Japanese culinary tradition, layering soybean fibers and flavoring them with rice wine, ginger, and soy sauce, which helps create the texture of traditional beef. This vegan Wagyu alternative is rolling out to over 4,000 AFC Advanced Fresh Concepts locations in North America. I know that Kroger's and a few other grocery stores have the AFC products in the sushi area. I don't know. Some vegans hate when their vegan meats taste close to the real thing. I'm not one of them, but let me know how you feel. Either way, let's definitely stay on the lookout for this Wagyu. Well, that's all the vegan news you can use if you choose that I have for today. For more content like this, please subscribe, like, and share. I will plug the information on the news below, allowing you to gain further enlightenment on the topics. As always, thanks for watching, and to my fellow vegans, you are appreciated, and until next time, keep saving the world one bite at a time.